all right so i just figured i'd do a little update video um it's been a while i think since you guys have seen the truck since i did anything to it um so i think the last time you guys saw it it was maybe dropped um i know i've posted a couple shorts on the channel um of the truck but um anyways yeah here in the the last little while the truck's really kind of gone through a, a a big change um so probably about i'd say i think it was back in august um no it was probably back in june um i put a a, a converter in the truck um i blew the front pump out of the 6r80 um it's a 2011 so that was a common issue um on these trucks um so yeah the the late 2011s i think it was mid to late year 2011s of front pumps um and the 6r80 would kind of grenade themselves um and it seemed to happen r right around um anywhere from 50 to 100 thousand miles somewhere and luckily the truck was in that mileage so the front pump blew out of the truck um and left me stranded in a bojangles parking lot that night shout out to my buddy jonathan for coming and getting me but um yeah blew the front pump out of it and it lost almost all trans fluid um within i'd say probably three to four minutes um so i was able to limp it back to um a, a, a like a, a family friend i guess you could say uh store and left it there parked it um and ended up being able to just kind of it, it was weird because it lost all the fluid initially but then after that um, and I put, put fluid back in it. It would leak fluid, um, but it would only leak fluid if I did any types of, uh, like spirited driving. So if I was doing any, uh, converter launches or anything like that, it would start to leak. Um, but it had like a small, small, small little leak, but, um, it went away after a while. Um, and it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, had that issue. So I called up circle D and got a circle D, um, converter for it. It's a 3,600 to a 36, yeah, 3,600 to 3,800 stall converter. I think it's like a 4C or a 5C converter. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, but it's their billet version I opted for the five disc lockup. Um, so it's a full billet converter. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, put that in the truck. The truck was bone stock. It was just dropped and it had traction bars on it at the time. And that was it and drove it like that for probably like two months it was really fun uh having a stock truck that will stall up almost to 4,000 rpm uh really fun on the street especially being a bone stock truck it was super torquey down low i mean this thing was was really fun but it was still kind of slow um so um i'm a big lawn racing fan so um had to have them tune it so i uh, got a lawn tune for it uh, it was just on a flex tune for a while because these trucks are flex stock. So there's really, they're not going to send you a pump gas tune. It's just a flex tune. You can run E85 or, or pump gas, but I've always ran E85 in the truck since I got it. It's only gotten pump gas a handful of times. And that's if I'm out of town or um, if they run out of E85, typically I'll put pump gas in it. But it's only been in it probably three or four times. So it pretty much all the time runs on E85. But um, yeah, so I uh, got the one tune for it and it was on a flex tune for a while and then opted for a E85 R tune from them. Basically all it is, same flex tune. They just shove in timing down low and they take out the inferred octane logic from what I understand. So they just infer that you have 85, 85% um, ethanol in the, in the tank. So it's really up to you at that point. Uh, you'll blow the truck up if it's, if you don't have 85 uh, octane in it. So, or 85 ethanol. So, uh, but luckily my station has pretty dang good uh, E85. I mean, it's tested pretty much always for everybody right around 80, 85%. So if, if you see me walking behind the truck too, it's because there's a vehicle coming. I don't get hit, but yeah, big truck. But anyways, yeah. So put that in there and then, uh, it was really quick actually, just for a tuned truck. Um, it ran pretty good. So did that. And then, uh, it, I, it, it was like a 14.3 truck, 14.38 stock at like 88 miles an hour on the drag pack because the drag pack had the speedometer all messed up and it was hitting the limiter. So the truck thought it was hitting the limiter at 88 miles an hour. So uh, it was like a 14, like I said, 14.30 something truck um, in the quarter and like a 9.20 or a 9.30. I think it maybe have been a 9.40. Like they're pretty slow stock. I mean, they're quick, but they're pretty slow. Um, and it did zero to 60 on the draggy. This was all draggy times. It would do it all kind of right around like six, 
five or something like that. I mean, it's quick, but it's not like quick, quick. So yeah, did that. Um, and then got the tune for it. And on the E85R tune, out the box, um, cause I never dragged it on the flex tune on the 85 R tune out of the box, like first revision. Um, I think it went like a, like a 1380 or like a 1385 or 1375 or something like that. Like pretty respectable for a steel body, full weight. Um, just with E85 R, uh, Luntune and a converter. I mean, that's, that's getting it. Um, so did that. And then opted probably about a month ago, I think I put, I put a PMAS on it. Um, and it went from like a, like I said, a high 13 second truck down to a, uh, like a 13. I think the best time I ever ran with the PMAS at the track. These are all track times, by the way. Um, it went like a 1330 or like a, like a high 1330 or like a low 1340. Um, at 104 miles an hour um so yeah i put the pmas on it and it was stock manifold stocked everything it was literally a stock truck just with um a pmas so did that and then um decided i had bought a boss manifold at mustang week when me, me and my buddy went so i uh, went ahead bought a boss manifold for it back in like june uh, or july somewhere in there back this summer finally put the boss manifold on I got it on like three or four days ago. Shout out to Chris for putting that on for me. Um, but yeah, so got the boss manifold installed. It was a pain in the butt to get it to fit with the PMAS. By the way, if you guys want to do a PMAS, it'll work. There's just be ready. You're going to have to buy couplers. You're going to have to cut the couplers. You're going to have to cut the fuse box bracket and get it to line up straight. I mean, it's, it's a pain, but it looks really good and it flows a crap ton of air. Um, so yeah, basically got the boss manifold on and the PMAS. Um, I've dragged it so far, but it's not really, it's not really picked up anything. But then again, it's 30 degrees outside, 30, 40 degrees outside when I've done it. And the concrete and the asphalt is so cold and I can't get the truck to hook. I mean, it's cutting like a 2, 4, 2, 5, 60 foot. And at the track before it was cutting low 1.9s, high 1.8s. So um it's definitely it, it's got like a mid 12 in it i just can't get it to hook on the street that's my issue um and i can't even wind it out past the past the eighth without being almost at 100 miles an hour it's just i can't do it and i don't i don't want to take the chance so um yeah i'll probably be going to the track here soon probably in the next week or two see what it runs um but yeah it's basically a luntune e85 PMAS, boss manifold, of course, no IMRCs with that, and a circle D, and and that's it, full weight, um, you know, I, I, I think me and my buddy Jonathan, I think we're going to do headers um, on the truck right around the same time as each other, because see, still got stock manifolds, um, so probably going to do headers on it, and then I also have to do, uh, probably going to do GT intake cams, uh, just go all out in a, I got to take the record, um, get it for Lund. So probably going to do GT intake cams or boss cams, one of the two, and leave it like that for probably a couple months after that. I mean, I'll get those two things done probably in the next month or so. Um, and then after that, that's that's it. Um, and then that's that's all out in a, I mean, I'm trying to take the record of it. I think it's like a 1228 um, or 1222 with an eight or something like that. So going to try and take that. Um, and then once I get that, you know, I'll be a happy cat and we'll go ahead and... Uh, you know, boost it. And when I boost it, I'd like to do a on three twin kit, um, on the truck. And if I can't do that for some reason, um, I'd love to be able to put a, a gen four two nine Whipple on it. Uh, that's, it's either one. I haven't made my mind up yet. The Whipple's expensive. The on three kits a little cheaper. And I feel like I'd be less inclined to blow the motor up. Um, <laughs> if it was on an on three kit, just cause that TVS or I, I think the Whipple's either a TVS uh, or it's a twin screw, one of the two, but I just, I feel like with it whipping up so hard with a blower, um, I'd probably take the block out of it, um, and send the rods out of the block, so I really don't want to do that, but yeah, that's it for engine mods, really, other than that, I've got a Harley bumper for it, um, I just got to paint match it, but I haven't really had time to do that yet, uh, because I've need, I'm, I've kind of needed the truck, and I've been out 
the truck with like a month now. I didn't have it for like a month doing the P mass on the boss manifold. So I kind of want it back for a while before I send it off to get all paint match. So do the Harley bumper white, the this white. I'll keep the um the grill like it is because I already have the white grill. Um I'll be doing the whole mirror surround. This will all be white. The whole thing. I'll do new cal vent. Door handles will be white. And then I already got a new tailgate for it. My old tailgate was messed up, so I got a new tailgate for it, paint match. Um, and then went ahead and did the Ford logo black with the, the white inside. And then went ahead and paint matched the handle because I'm already going to be doing the other handles. And then did the Ford logo. And then the bumper will be paint matched. And then the bumper plastic right here. This will be white as well. Um, so it'll look good. But yeah, and it's on welds right now. This is just the show out setup. I try not to daily drive on it. I'm actually going to be swapping off of them today. But, yeah, it's a Wild Venture 6 bead lock in the back with a 315, 55, 17 ET Street R. And then the front is just a normal Wild Ventura because it's a two-wheel drive truck, Wild Ventura 6. Um, I think this is tire size in the front. It's a 225, 65, 17 in the front. Um, so, yeah, and it's on a Beltec 4.6 uh, kit. They say it's a 3.5.5, but it's really a 4.6 drop. And then it's got VAS traction bars on it. Um, and the exhaust setup is um, just stock manifolds. Still got cats on it, but we'll be changing that. Or free-flowing exhaust, may I say, when we go to long tubes. But um, right now it's just a full three-inch pipe um, to a Carvin R down here. If you can kind of see it up in there. But Carvin R, full three-inch, and then to this two little tip thing but yeah it's a it's a fun truck um so yeah definitely definitely gonna be a, a, a record truck one day so just got to get it there but real quick before i send off um on the interior uh we did do the center console in the truck um so now it's like a, a center console um and i did this little carbon wheel i thought it was really cool and I, I just it's kind of ricey i painted those white um definitely it looks good but I just put it back to black. It's a little too much for me. But, yeah, other than that, that's it. I'll go ahead and start the truck if you guys want to hear it real fast before I exit out the video. Um, but, yeah, it's got a good tone. If you guys are thinking about an exhaust, I'd definitely go this route. Super deep, but it's really loud when you open it up, so just be careful. So, if any of y'all do free-flowing exhaust, I would not. I'd put a bigger muffler on it or i'd put a resonator on it or i'd go cat put cats on it so either way um but anyways well i just figured i'd give you guys a little update on it um stay tuned I, I may put some flybys or some exhaust clips in the in the video at the end or i may just upload them as short so just kind of keep an eye out for those but anyways all right i'll talk to you guys later